If you're tired of life in a regular metropolis, I suggest embarking on a journey to the floating cities of the near future, which will truly amaze you. One such city is Dogen, developed by NARC. The project envisions a floating city with a radius of 1.58 kilometers and an outer perimeter length of 4 kilometers. It is designed to provide permanent housing and employment for approximately 10,000 residents, as well as accommodate up to 30,000 tourists. Its circular shape is capable of withstanding the strongest waves of the surrounding sea. It is envisioned as a self-sufficient, decentralized marine city that can adapt to climate change. Health will be an important point thanks to daily programs for self-care in mental and physical health. Medical tourism will also be offered on a larger scale. Enarch claims that this floating city could even withstand an apocalypse. Dogen, with a circumference of four kilometers, will have an internal organization that allows residents to reach any point in the area within an hour. But what exactly will this floating city contain? Well, imagine a mixture of a village and a futuristic metropolis. Dogen will have everything from sports fields to residential buildings, a megastructure capable of moving to another location if necessary. The project will be divided into three separate areas. The inhabited ring, containing the main residential zone, the underwater data processing center, which will naturally cool with seawater and contain city management centers and medical research centers, floating architecture inside an artificial bay created by a circular structure. Enarch believes that the island city will consume only about 2 million liters of drinking water per year, which is quite modest. At the same time, it will annually produce 3,288 tons of waste, which will need to be either transported somewhere or somehow disposed of. This issue has not yet been fully developed. The company behind all of this, NARC, with an accent, claims that this floating city could even withstand an apocalypse. The city of Dogen, with a circumference of four kilometers, will have an internal organization that allows residents to reach any point in the area within an hour. But what exactly will this floating city contain? Well, imagine a mixture of a village and a futuristic metropolis. Dogen will have everything from sports fields to residential buildings, a megastructure capable of moving to another location if necessary. Its own resources will allow Dogen to produce almost 7,000 tons of food and 22.2 gigawatts of electricity. Energy production will be comprehensive. Solar panels on all roofs, wind turbines, and turbines using underwater currents. According to NARC's development plan, the construction of the city should be completed by 2030. By that time, developers plan to build six essential items, medical, food, housing, information, and electrical services that will gradually expand. Biodiversity. In the state of Penang in southern Malaysia, they have decided to build islands of the future. They will be collectively known as Biodiversity, and the project is planned to be completed by 2030. Biodiversity will cover a total area of 18 million square meters and will consist of three large groups of islands. The archipelago will be built in collaboration with private companies such as Hijus, Knight Frank, and Ernst & Young. Educational centers, research institutes, and parks will be located there. Nearby, there will be an oasis, an archipelago with floating houses and terraces. According to the plan, people should coexist harmoniously with nature on the islands. To achieve this, an ecological corridor network will be created to connect different areas of biodiversity. The islands will also have a beachfront that is approximately 5 kilometers long and a 25 kilometer long promenade. The entire area will be pedestrian friendly. However, according to the project, a public transportation network will also be developed. Residents will be able to move freely throughout the islands. To reduce the impact on the environment, most buildings will be made of prefabricated structures or printed on 3D printers on site, and some buildings will be created from bamboo, Malaysian wood, and green concrete made from recycled materials. The islands will be divided into different districts, with 15,000 to 16,000 people living in areas ranging from 50 to 500 acres. 
To protect animals in areas inhabited by humans, builders will construct canopies, waterways, and sidewalks. The city will be integrated into the smart network, which will provide residents with real-time energy consumption data, helping the community make informed decisions about sustainable development. Biodiversity is an example of how environmental and economic interests can be combined. It can be a great place for tourism and scientific conferences, as well as for growing environmentally friendly products and breeding rare animal species. Panjos is not a city in the traditional sense, as it can move unlike previous cities. According to Italian designer Pierpaolo Lazzarini, the realization of his concept of a turtle city, Panjos, could result in the largest floating structure in the world. The idea of this monumental project, according to the Italian, arose in 2009 and requires about eight years to complete. The construction of the floating giant will cost eight billion. However, the construction of the ship cannot be carried out without a special shipyard, which, according to Lazzarini, Saudi Arabia could help create. It is in this country that Pierpaolo wants to initially place Pangeos, which he envisions moving across the waters of the entire Earth. However, for the Turtle City, there is currently no shipyard for construction or port capable of accommodating such a massive vessel. Pangeos is named after the supercontinent, Pangea, which united the continents that existed on our planet from 200 to 335 million years ago between the late Paleozoic and early Mesozoic eras. The Turtle City is designed as a steel-hulled vessel. The dimensions of the ship are 550 meters long and up to 610 meters wide with a draft of 30 meters, comparable to two Roman Colosseums. Obviously, a ship of this size requires a powerful power plant, which will be nine massive modern HTS engines. Each of these motors, being electric, can deliver power equal to 16.8 thousand horsepower. The speed of Pangeos is estimated at 5 knots or 9 ton to 6 kilometers h. Numerous solar panels and special devices on the turtle's flippers are intended to provide the floating city with electricity and enable endless navigation by collecting energy from incoming waves. Designed in the shape of a turtle, the base is designed for 60,000 people who will be transported to the deck by boats and helicopters. Internal ports and runways are provided for parking marine and air transport and for locals to leave the city. Inside Pangeos, hotels, apartments, luxurious villas with terraces, green areas with lawns and palms, beaches, shopping centers, bars, clubs and restaurants are planned for tens of thousands of seafaring citizens. In short, all the infrastructure and entertainment facilities are claimed that a floating community cannot do without in the middle of the ocean. Like and subscribe if you liked the video. You can also leave a comment. This helps in the development of the channel. See you later.